What's happening, fam? LAR Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link, they also asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for support. This video is entitled Why I Stand with Marquise Jefferson, uh, the father of Atiana Jefferson, the woman shot in her home in uh, Fort Worth. And th this situation brings up a lot of things where he had to go to the court and basically the court had to, you know, approve that he was in charge of his own daughter's funeral because she got killed in a, in a bad manner and um, people want to make it a, a big spectacle. And it's unfortunate that I have to even talk about this, but... This idea that fathers don't exist and fathers don't have rights and fathers are second class parents and people run with that and the types of things that people would do just just all coupled with the types of things people do for a dog and pony show create this situation. So they gonna they want to have the funeral at the potter's house. But they never asked the father what, what the church was, I'm guessing, because he was finding out a lot of things from social media, from my understanding, which says a lot. Like, th this woman has parents, but yet everybody wants to go around her parents to set up all of this so this ain't really about her. Because you could bring the cameras to, the, to, to her, her actual church, you know that, right? You could bring your, your words of love and encouragement and your activism to the actual church after you talk to the family, right? So the fact that she, they set up a GoFundMe. He was like, but I got money for my daughter's funeral because now people are setting up a GoFundMe. It ain't him or his mother, from my understanding. So, and, and even if it was done in the best of intentions, it should have been that part of the family and maybe it's a, a relative who decided to do it but guess what that ain't your daughter so you want so if, even if I was a relative you want the GoFundMe to go through you but it wasn't your child that got shot and you know that's my auntie that's my cousin not everybody trying to hear that because that ain't your daughter and I was you know and, and shout out to Toreen Rain you know Salute to you, fam, um, for bringing it up because, you know, people keep doing this. And I, and I talked to my aunt about this, and I was like, you know what's crazy about this? Ever since Trayvon Martin, this has been going on where somebody gets shot in a bad circumstance and people automatically assume, let me talk to the mother. Let me see what the mother got. The mother, the mother, the mother. And the, va and the majority of these stories with these children and teenagers and, and even the adults in these situations is they try to X out the father. Even in the Botham John thing, the brother and the mother were doing the testifying. But all of a sudden, the father was around to say forgiveness too, but he wasn't actually in the court from my understanding. So, why, the brother's there, the mother's there. <laughs> and it's looked as though, okay, this is what we doing. And even with the uh, situation with this, it lacks, it's a bad look because it lacks tact. And it reminded me of uh, even Aretha Franklin funeral where it was like a publicity stunt for everybody that showed up. Or for the vast majority of the people that showed up. You know. So it's like, damn, like, this is what we doing? And to, to have all of this outpouring is, is a wonderful thing. But the negative thing about it is... You don't, we don't have this outpour when people are alive, for one. And for two, you X'd out her dad. 
Like he like he didn't exist. Like like your intentions for her funeral and your spectacle that you were gonna make of over her death is more important than a grieving father. And y'all y'all saying people ain't gonna be there for the kid that's traumatized that his aunt got shot? You're not. And are y'all gonna raise a GoFundMe for the kid that for eight year old seeing his aunt shot dying in front of him? No, I, I because you know you have the same amount of disrespect for even that black boy's experience as you do for that black father uh, uh, um, bearing his daughter, and that's that's that that's sad and disgusting, man. You know, but I stand with the, with, with that man because you know he we didn't respect him laying his baby to rest. Oh wow, son. We didn't, that's not respecting him laying his baby to rest. You know, the whole situation with Lee Merritt and all that other stuff. Uh-oh, let me see if I could. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little something with that, you know. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm going I'm to do this for a few minutes. But one of the issues with that is this. When, you, when you're in this situation where you got... A community wanting to fight for a person, which I'm about to go live in a few, and I'm going to talk about this also, where people are doing things when it's convenient, not because it's real. And it's nothing, it's nothing good coming out of that. So I'm going to end it right here, and I'm going to go live, because we're going to have some things to discuss. I just think need to be out there. So catch y'all. On a live or catch you on the restream. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.